This video explains how to create a dummy data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a dummy vector object with randomly distributed zero and one values. And for this, I'm first setting a random seed for reproducibility. And then I'm using the rbinom function to create a random dummy vector. So after running lines two to four of the code, a new dummy vector is appearing at the top right, which is called dummy vec. And we can print this dummy vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new vector object, which contains the values one and zero. Now let's assume that we want to create a new data set based on this dummy vector. Then we can apply the matrix function to create a dummy matrix. And within this matrix function, we need to specify the name of our vector object and we need to specify the number of columns that our matrix should have. So in this case, our matrix should contain three different dummy columns. And then I'm storing the output of the matrix function in a new matrix object that I'm calling dummy mat. So after running line seven of the code, this matrix object is appearing at the top right and we can print our matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that we have created a dummy matrix containing five rows and three columns and all of these columns contain dummies. Now at this point, our data object has the matrix class. However, if we want to create a data frame containing dummies, we can use the s.data.frame function to convert our matrix object to a data frame, as you can see in line 10 of the code. So within the s.data.frame function, we simply need to specify the name of our dummy matrix, which is called dummy mat. And then we need to store the output of this function in a new data frame object that I'm calling data. So after running line 10 of the code, this new data frame object is appearing at the top right, and we can print our data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a dummy data frame, which contains the three columns, V1, V2, and V3. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.